Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a closer look at this Kuo or Kuo A. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name, but I'm just going to stick with Kuo because I saw a lot of YouTubers mentioning that name. So this is a Kuo Oldsmith Bronze with the reference number 90-002. This watch comes with a 35mm bronze case. Kuo is an independent watchmaker from Kyoto, Japan. They were founded in 2020 and mostly offer vintage style watches. The brand's creator, Uchimura, drew inspiration from a passion for antique watches he discovered while studying in London, especially hand wound models from the 1940s to the 1970s. What Kuo offers today is vintage style watches with modern and robust material. This here is a watch from one of their most popular lineup, the Oldsmith, but this piece here comes in a bronze case. The general idea of bronze case watches is that they patina over time as you wear it. Each watch will end up differently and each will be unique to the owner. Let's quickly go through the specs of the watch. The watch comes in at exactly 35mm when I measure across 2 to 8. It has a lug to lug distance of 42.1mm and it comes in at a thickness of 12.4mm including the dome sapphire crystal. It comes with a standard 18mm lug width. Even though the case is made from bronze and with its current oxidized condition of me wearing it for a couple of months, we can still see some effort was put into the case finishing. The top of the case is brushed with circular finishing and the sides are high polished. Some manufacturers may opt not to finish a bronze watch case that much as they know that it will oxidize over time. I have to applaud Kuo for finishing the case nicely. The dial is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the texture. Kuo offers the watch in three different dial colors and I think this is the best. It has a rusted iron look that matches perfectly with the patina bronze case. The white hour markers are applied but they are not loomed. There are loom plots beside them and they are filled with superluminova. Looking at the color, I suspect that they are from C3 compound. The railroad minute track and the wordings together with the logo are printed in white. I think the dial may look better if the printing is done in sort of an off-white to exert that patina look, but maybe that will impact the legibility a little. It comes with a handset that is PVD coated in rose gold. A clever choice as rose gold shares a closer shade to bronze. Powering the watch is a Seiko NH38, a true no date movement. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour and has a power reserve of 41 hours. The rated accuracy is minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. The watch comes with a screw down crown that is signed with the Kuo logo, giving it 100 meters of water resistance. The watch comes with a very simple but high polished 316L stainless steel case back with the model and the made in Japan engraved on it. Alright, so this is how the watch looks when it is slightly dark. The loom is green in color and I think they are just okay. The watch is offered in three straps variation of different colors, all single pass woven strapped. I went for this red and beige color combo as I feel that the red complements the dial really, really nice here. The buckle on the strap is also PVD coated in rose gold and it is signed with the company's logo. Okay, so this is how the watch look on my small 6 inch or 15.2 centimeters wrist. Given the compact lug to lug distance, I think the watch wears really nice on my small wrist. and. I believe the rose gold buckle complements the watch case rather nice. One thing that I may have forgot to mention is that this strap comes with leather. I'm not sure if that's genuine or full leather, but it comes with a pair of leather keeper. I think it's really nice. So is this watch for you? If you are into small watches and enjoy vintage style watches, then a definite yes. If you do not have a bronze watch in your collection yet while meeting the previous conditions, 
then a double yes from me. The beauty of bronze watch is to be able to see the patina grow over time. And if you really like a more vintage appeal, try pairing it on a vintage style leather strap for you to complete that vintage look. For example, I have this vintage style leather strap. I believe it's from CNS Ben, and I added in a rose gold buckle. And let's see, I'm just too lazy to remove the strap, but I'm just gonna show it in that way. Yeah, I believe this combination makes the watch look a whole lot more vintagey, and the rose gold buckle really complements the watch case really nice. Well, with that said, I guess this is it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please have to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.